I'm Samantha Peshik. I'm a fifth year from Indianapolis, Indiana, and I'm a communications major. I'm almost 23, which for the sport of gymnastics is pretty old. I'm basically a dinosaur. I still like it. I really love the sport. I've learned and I've grown, grown up through the sport. I feel blessed that I have this extra year to even do gymnastics, and I feel like I've been enjoying doing the actual gymnastics more than I have than in the past. After I went to the Olympics, I was really fortunate enough to have a new goal of being the best UCLA gymnast that I could be. I was loving it, loving the girls, loving everything. The only thing that I wasn't happy with was my gymnastics. You know, you come from an elite program where the skill level is a lot higher and you train a lot more. And so kind of figuring out the whole college gymnastics adjustment was really difficult for me. And I don't think that I loved that part at the beginning. After I tore my Achilles, it was kind of when I decided to go back and enjoy the sport that I love. I wasn't allowing myself to do that because I was upset about not being at the same level now I feel like I'm just really appreciating being able to do the sport and I'm having so much fun again. Ms. Val has talked a lot about a saying called RAW this year. R-A-W, ruthlessly. <laughs> <laughs> I randomly just got a list, so it's great. Ruthlessly, it's, like, it's really tricky, okay. <laughs> RAW ruthlessly attacking your weaknesses. And I think that's a big theme for us as the UCLA gymnastics team because we have the skill level, we have the potential, we have the talent, we have the drive. I think the one thing that we're missing is everyone has their weakness. And that's the one thing that I think is holding us back to becoming a national championship team. Um, I'm more of a powerful, um, not as flexible gymnast, so going to hot yoga really releases my tendons. And um, when I come in the next day after going to hot yoga, the coaches can always tell I'm a little bit more flexible. So I think if we all ruthlessly attack our weaknesses, it's going to be a really great year. Growing up a Colts fan, Peyton was my idol. I just thought that he was a really great person. <laughs> I met him one time at a charity event and he was overwhelmingly nice. And even though he might be a little bit older than some of the other guys in the league, he always takes it upon himself to improve and to get better and always expect the best from himself. And I kind of feel like that's me this year in my fifth year. You know, I might be a little bit older than some of the other girls, but it's still my job to be at the top of my game and to kind of help lead this team to success. And I knew that they were gonna push me to be the best that I could be inside and outside of the gym. I am always looking for a challenge and I always wanna become the best that I can be. And I think that looking back, UCLA has definitely provided me with that. And I'm a way better person in all types of ways because of coming here.